Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about a very useful tool that I have used since quite some time now. It's called iMacros. This is a very useful tool which can be used to automate your daily mundane tasks that you perform on the web browser. So what happens is that basically you can use this plugin or extension in your browser to create macros for repetitive tasks that you perform. You can then perform these tasks with a click of a button. Work related tasks are generally of two types. You have creative tasks that are interesting and that pulls your attention versus you have some boring monotonous repetitive tasks that you just can't escape but it is also part of your job. So if you are performing these repetitive tasks on a browser, iMacros can really help you save time. Yeah, so I'll start with um, installation of the extension or the plugin. Uh, I'm using Firefox browser and in this, uh, you know, you can see that I've already installed this extension. So uh, if you have not installed it, you will probably have to go into um, add-ons, I suppose, or yeah, you have to go to extensions and come to the you know search screen for extensions and um, you know you will have to search for iMacros but the thing is that I've already installed iMacros that's why it's not really showing as an installation option here you can see that iMacros for Firefox is already installed so this is going to be the extension that we're going to use for recording the macros so now let's get on to a quick example of how you can utilize uh, this macro so you know let's say that you use uh, the uh, calendar uh, from Google quite often to create events. So we're just going to create a short, uh, short recording of uh, for uh, for creating an event. So I'm just going to you know click on this uh, extension icon that has come up uh, here. There are the different options. You need to go to uh, record, and um, you can click on record. So it's asking to close other tabs. I'm going to just select yes. Okay. So now basically it has started recording and uh, whatever action I do now in the browser will be recorded in this script. So let's say now I click on Google apps and I go to Google calendar. Hopefully the iMacro extension is recording these steps. Here you can see that it is adding these steps to the script. Yeah, so it has automatic. Uh, so after I have clicked on that button, it has opened up Google Calendar, and uh, the next step to create an event would be to click on this arrow and let's see event name or whatever it is like that. Dot dot dot, and I click add. So this kind of takes me to the space. Um, you know, let's say I want to just put in default value for, I think it's fine, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. default value is fine. You know, this all is stuff that I can further, you know, just kind of fill in later on. just click save okay so now I'm going to go and I'm just going to click on stop so your macro the uh, steps have been saved to a script called current and I'm just going to play that script back so just to show you how this macro will automatically replay I've selected the script, I go on to the play tab and I click on play and hopefully it should replay all the steps that I've recorded. There, so you just saw that it has successfully, you know, it 
this was the first event that I created manually and uh, the second time when I ran the macro uh, this was the second event that it created so this is I mean it's just it's actually a bad example but it's just to show you that how you can record uh, your steps uh, from a web browser and how you can play it out so um, you know there's a lot of other stuff that you can do if you know scripting you can go in you can you know edit edit this particular script to suit your specific needs you can use for loops and you know all kinds of programming uh, stuff over here to to improve your script and to make it more versatile and powerful so as you saw this is something really useful and really there is a lot of information about i macros uh, on the web you can uh, you know just uh, Check out the docs uh, link. Um, so I've pasted the link to iMacros docs below and you can refer to that. There is a wealth of information in that. And uh, even if you just go and search on Google for various sample iMacros scripts, you will find a lot of stuff over there. So you can you uh, definitely research uh, into iMacros and you know just use it for whatever uh, tasks you are doing. So uh, I definitely recommend this app because um, I am a technical writer for a software product company and um, I have various publishing tasks you know that uh, require me to perform the same steps every time I publish the space uh, to the wiki you know so basically we have online docs and every time I publish those documents online I need to perform the same steps so this iMacros comes really handy as I've just prepared uh you know some macros to automate the task and it's very useful so i definitely recommend it um you know this uh, video tutorial just kind of touched the surface on iMacros but if uh, you all guys like this video and uh, you all want more information please comment you know uh, below uh, like this video subscribe so this will really motivate me to to produce more uh, videos uh, uh, on iMacros I can go into further details and um, I can also create videos on various other topics that will help you increase your productivity and just basically anything that uh, has to do with technology so please like this video share it and subscribe it and hopefully I'll be talking to you soon again